But now, would I recommend a rock python for a pet? Uh, they're not going to be for most people, but the, the good news is that more tamed down lineages are coming out. Uh, Aaron from Black Diamond, is it Black Diamond Exotics or Black Diamond Herps? One of those two. Uh, he's a pretty cool guy, and he has definitely the tamest rock python lineage. Uh, the little guy right here, he comes from Clark, and I'm not sure how the rest of his babies have turned out. But uh, with mine, on the other hand, as long as you treat him with a lot of respect, he's just fine. But I, I wouldn't really, at this stage of his life, let anybody else really hold him. Because I understand he could just kind of quirk out just like that. Honestly, at this point, I don't even know if he still bites. Because I just don't push him. And I know it looks like I'm just holding him like a, a regular little friendly ball python. But now him and I have just gotten to a respect for where he'll, he'll let me tap him on the nose. I said that while he irks back a little bit. Oh, by the way, if you're looking behind me, I actually uh, bought a grow tent for my ball python. People think it's so stupid to have so much room for a ball python. I mean, he has a 7x4x4 seven by four by four space to himself. And I'll tell you this, he enjoys it. Um, I might put a picture in the video, if my phone allows me to, of kind of how my ball python looks in there. And uh, it's not going to be strong enough to hold my rock when he gets older. Uh, the rock will be in one of these SOG plastics. I'll probably have to buy another one, what I keep my berms in. But yeah, this is just an update on him. I really, I really like him a lot. Colors are great. Can't ask for a better disposition. Despite his quirks. But honestly, I, I just hold him so calmly that it's almost as if he was a docile snake. Alright guys, I appreciate you for watching the video. Everybody have a good day.